And now, and now a word about a certain young actor before he steps out on the stage. I want to tell you a little story of him. When I was casting Madame Satan six or seven years ago, I was looking for a villain. Somebody had given my script girl a screen test of a young man, and she kept dinging the life out of me to see it. I asked her if he was a villain. And she said she thought he could do anything. Uh, so I looked at it and decided he was not a villain, but that he had definite possibilities. So I showed it to the uh, other executives of the studio. When I asked them about the young man a day or so later, they said he never could succeed in pictures. I asked why not. They said his ears are too big. <laughs> but evidently, evidently those ears were no obstacle to the triumph of Clark Gable. As you stepped out on this stage, Clark, I could hear feminine hearts thumping from coast to coast. <laughs> well, see me, I'm letting that go in one ear and out the other. <laughs> if your studio will loan you to my studio, Clark, I'd like to direct you in a picture. Well, I hear from everybody who has ever worked for you that it's a great experience, if you live through it. <laughs> now, my ears are burning. <laughs> no, no, no. No, really, though. No. It was a great show and a lot of fun working for you. And I want to express a gratitude to Miss Diedrich and myself to our all-star supporting cast tonight. Crawford Kent as La Bessière. Frank Riker as Adjutant Cesar. Walter Kingsford as Blimey. Wally Mayer as the Sergeant. Lou Merrill as Lo Tinto. And Inez Seabury as a Spanish girl. And thanks also to our fine audience. I want to congratulate Lux on their new theater and on the way they're planning their next week. Two great stars, Mr. William Powell and Miss Myrna Loy, and their famous success, The Thin Man. Good night, Mr. DeBell, and so long, everybody. And here she comes, here she comes as desirable as she was in her picture desire, as beautiful and glamorous as, well, as only Marlena Dietrich can be. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. Uh, we received so many requests, Marlena, that you sing your famous song from the Blue Angel, Falling in Love Again. Will you please? I'd be very glad to. Mr. Frederick Hollander, the composer of the song, will accompany me. Falling in love again, never wanted to. What am I to do? I can't help it. Love's always been my game. Play it. How I may, I was made that way, I can't help it. Men cluster to me like moths around the flame, and if their wings burn, I know I'm not to blame. Falling in love again, never wanted to, what am I to do? I can't help it Falling in love again Never wanted to What am I to do? I can't help it Love's always been my game Play it how I may I was made that way I can't help it Men cluster to me like moths around the flame And if their wings burn I know I'm not to blame Falling in love again Never wanted to What am I to do? I can't help it Thank you, Miss Deeper. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your announcer, Melville Ruiz. Before Mr. DeMille tells you more about our play for next week, on behalf of our sponsors, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, I want to express appreciation and gratitude to Mr. DeMille and to the great Hollywood studios who cooperated in making this occasion such a splendid success. From Paramount, Miss Dietrich, who will next be seen on the screen in the David O. Selznick Technicolor production of The Garden of Allah, based on the famous novel by Robert Hitchens. 
Mr. Clark Gable, the Metro Golden Mayor star, came direct to this broadcast from the set of the Warner Cosmopolitan production of Cain and Mabel. He will soon be seen with Jeanette McDonald in MGM's production, San Francisco. Mr. Lewis Silvers represents the 20th Century Fox. And to Paramount, our thanks for the loan of our producer, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille, whom I know you are eager to hear. Mr. DeMille. Next Monday at the same time, we will present that amusing and exciting play, The Thin Man. I am proud to be able to announce that the two great MGM stars who made such a hit on the screen in this remarkable drama, William Powell and Myrna Loy, will play the same roles in the first radio version of it. Next Monday evening, I regret to say, I will not be in Hollywood to produce the Lux Radio Theater play, as I am attending the Paramount Convention in Chicago. In my place, one of Hollywood's distinguished directors, Mr. W.S. Van Dyke, who directed The Thin Man for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, will be guest producer on this hour. But I'll be back the following Monday, and every Monday, to produce this series of programs for the Lux Radio Theater. On behalf of all who contributed to this evening's performance, our cast, Mr. Louis Silvers and his orchestra, our technical staff and our sponsors, I thank you and invite you to be guests of the Lux Radio Theater again next Monday night when this program will be presented from the same station. This is Cecil B. DeMille saying good night to you from Hollywood. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.